Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. Today we're going to be kind of going over the ZTW Shark G2 Brushless ESC. Okay, uh, I have the 30 amp version. I got it for the the tunnel jet that I've been building. So um, we're actually going to take it out of the package, take a look at it, weigh it, measure it, uh, hook it up, and uh, kind of give you my thoughts. So um, stick around. Big B, what are you going to RC? This is actually my first ZTW Shark G2. I've had a couple, a few of the G1 or V1 version, and I wasn't really, well, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it, to be honest with you. It was um, the, the waterproofing for the V1. Wasn't that great? A uh, little bit of water got under the, the heat shrink here and the ESC, blah, 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 quit working. So, uh, pretty basic packaging. All right. Uh, you got your ESC and the user manual here. Okay. It goes over your uh, throttle calibration, startup, programming, all your parameters. For the speed control, which I'll actually go over in just a few. It was actually a nice looking little package. 30 amps, 40 amp continuous. Okay, you got a 5.5 volt, 4 amp BEC on this guy here. All right, uh, the length is 62 by 9 by 30. Okay, and uh, it weighs 31 grams. So it should be perfect for this little boat. You know what I mean? Uh, your wires come tinned from ZTW. I've actually had connectors on here. I've got to shorten the wires for this little boat. And uh, the battery wires come tinned. I'm actually going to be running this little XT30 connector because it's a small boat. I recommend something a little bit larger. This should be fine. So the unit itself is actually heat shrunk, okay, to waterproof it. They use like a potting compound on the ends, maybe like a silicone potting compound, and it looks like they did a pretty good job at it. Like I said earlier, the demise of my previous V1 ZTWs was water, you know, so uh, it's good to see that. Uh, now this is a CNC aluminum pipe, I guess. I would imagine it's all one piece there and uh, it almost looks like it has like a a piece of aluminum like attached to it you know like for the the cooling plate itself but uh, that should do it that should do it um, now the G2 series actually uh, has like a, a microprocessor or 32 Oh, let me see. Yeah, it's got a 32-bit microprocessor and upgraded MOSFETs, okay, for more power, basically, a smoother response. So there is a, a programming box that you can get for this ESC, okay? It actually costs more than the speed control itself, <laughs> so I didn't get it. You can program it with beeps. That's how I do most all my boats. A lot of you guys like the box. I, I, I beeps set it forget it type deal but i'm sure what that's what this four wire rx is for okay so it's about 14 inches long super long i'm probably gonna have to shorten it up i'll probably cut it and splice it in for this little guy right here now up until now up until now my favorite 30 amp esc has been the um dynamite 30 okay dynamite 30 if i'm not mistaken i think it's 30 amp continuous if i'm not mistaken uh this one's got the 40 you know 40 bursts so it should be a little little more robust but it's a little bit larger than that dynamite that dynamite can fit in the little spaces and that's why i like it you know so uh, be interesting to see how it performs unfortunately we're not going to be able to get it on the water in this video we'll have to go to the pond later on as you guys see i'm in the middle of my build it's on the bench so wow it's got a lot of parameters hopefully i can program this with beats some escs won't let you do it but um 
I'm going to put this here for you guys so I don't have to read it all off. You guys can stop the video. It looks like they got a uh, running mode and then motor timing, auto, low, medium, high. That's cool. Um, auto seemed to work good on my, my 200 ZTW. Rotation, function, cells. Okay. It also... has the option to do five volts or six volts for your BEC and acceleration is normal and soft so oh I didn't even think about that okay so they don't have so you have the option on this one to opt out of the soft start that's good that's what I hate about the ZTW 200 and it looks like you can use beeps to program it beep 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 now i've already had some bullets soldered up and um i put it in my boat for the the initial startup i'm going to go ahead and film that for you guys well it's already filmed i'm going to clip it in okay the startup procedure that may help somebody out it was really simple full throttle to neutral boom ready to go Run. the user manual says to hold your throttle to the top position it'll it emit a beep and then you'll go to the neutral position and then it'll start a startup tone so we're gonna go full throttle this could be a tedious part of hooking up speed controls okay neutral oh well that was easy that was easy all right that's 2s on a 1900 kv motor okay so i got the 30 installed into my boat okay i shortened the wires up substantially uh cut quite a bit off of them and the motor wires I had to scrape the coating off the motor wires it was a pain in the butt but i got it in there so we're going to kind of test the throttle response it's two to four s capable we're going to throw four s on it just for shits and giggles <laughs> Okay, um, haven't messed with any parameters. It's all stock parameters, auto timing, all that good stuff. So, uh, just gonna kind of check the the response. Ooh, no delay whatsoever. Some some speed controls have a slight delay, and it's annoying. So. Okay, so it's got good throttle response. <laughs> That's my cable. I need to grease it. I just put it all together. I just installed st the stuff into it. It's got reverse, which I'm going to I'm going to keep the reverse on there cuz I have this outrunner if I flip this boat. I hope I can get it to self right. So that's a cool feature. You can also disable it. That's freaking awesome. I really like the shape of it. You know, it's real skinny. I like that about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not using the water cooling. That's just extra weight in here. But, uh, hey, I wanted the, the size. The size is what I was after. You know, uh, it's nice having a couple of different options to choose from. This has a completely different shape, you know, which, by the way, is one of my favorites right there. Hopefully, hopefully this will change that. So um, hopefully my review helped you guys out. Kind of rambled on a little bit. Try to keep it short. Like, comment, subscribe. Super thanks. Boat gang for life. You guys are awesome. See you guys next time.